Hey, Jim Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is and Warfin. So, this episode, we got this cool mismatch right here, and basically, what these are are some reusable chopsticks. And for the one that we got right here is a bamboo style chopsticks. But they also have this available in regular wood as well, if you guys want that option. But basically for the chopstick that we have right here, it's the Japanese style. So I'm actually open this up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. So definitely right off the bat, if you see from the package right here, it definitely looks pretty nice. It has a bunch of Japanese letters or words on here. But I'm actually open this up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. Alright, so when you guys first open up, this actually looks like inside. If you see the way how they designed the chopsticks, it definitely looks pretty nice. And for these chopsticks right here, like I mentioned earlier, they are reusable. And you definitely still in the dishwasher to wash it as well if you guys want to. But for me personally, I do prefer hand washing it. But definitely if you see the way how they designed the chopstick right here, it actually looks pretty nice. And also in the bottom part right here, if you see the way how they design it, with all these little lines in these parts right here, those are actually really helpful so that way when you guys use it. It gives you guys a lot more like support or traction when you guys are grabbing stuff. So that way it won't slide off or slip off as easy. So this is basically what the product looks like for the one that we got right here. They do have a lot of other designs as well. So you definitely want to do your own research to see which one you prefer. But I'm actually I wanted them to show you guys what it actually looks like. Alright, so when we take it out, this is what it looks like right here. So definitely when you guys do the chopsticks, the different way of holding it. This is the way how I hold it and I know it's the incorrect way. But if you guys have your own way to use it, you can definitely use it how you guys want to. But definitely if you guys feel the material on here, it definitely feels like a high quality bamboo material that they use on here. And definitely when you guys feel the bottom part like I mentioned earlier, it gives you guys a lot of traction and support. So that way when you guys are grabbing stuff with the chopstick, it won't slide off as easy. So this is basically what the top part of your chopstick looks like. Here is the bottom part. And then here is the design right here. It means it definitely looks pretty nice. But just to show you guys how well the chopstick works, if you guys want to grab a tissue, it's so easy to actually use it. It works so well to the point that even if you guys want to use it for a bolt, Eventually, as you grab the bolt on here, it definitely works as well because of the way how they designed this part right here to give you guys a lot of traction and support like I mentioned. But definitely work a lot better if you guys are using it for like eating lunch or eating dinner or eating food in general. And also when you guys feel this part right here when you guys are gripping it, it actually feels pretty nice as well. It doesn't feel painful or anything when you guys use it. So that is basically everything that's on the part right here. Now to go unboxing and testing about it. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth or not. So for these chops right here, I would definitely have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one or need one of these. Especially if you guys are trying to look for some high quality Japanese chopsticks that are reusable, has the same design on here. And if you guys want that option in the bottom right here, where it should give you guys a lot more support and traction to grab stuff. And that way it won't slide off as easy. Then definitely getting one of these is actually really worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have any one of these, they obviously don't buy one and save the money for something else that they do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.